hello welcome to my channel uh, my name is Kanisha and my channel here is Miss Kanisha Sheree and I wanted to come to you today and just chat with you guys about some of my favorite things this will be a series on my channel called the favorite things series and typically what I plan to do is highlight things like my favorite store for beauty um, primarily or my favorite brand or favorite item or something like that so today our favorite thing series is going to highlight my favorite brand of all times and that would be NARS love 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 NARS it is such a dynamic brand it has of course your skincare items as well as beauty and then just ultra dramatic things you can build different products to get a really dramatic look and I just love it I love the concept behind it <clears throat> I love that the creator, Francois Nars, is um, a photographer as well and kind of looks at all of his products and creates his products um, through the lens of the camera. So you know that everything is going to photograph beautifully and just really just highlight the, the skin and the lovely things that makes every woman or man lovely and beautiful. Today, I'm going to kind of go over some of my favorite things from this brand, and it includes a few things, but I will keep it brief. <laughs> um, you will find here that maybe my videos aren't the smallest or the shortest, but we'll have fun all the same. So I'm hoping that you enjoy this, and let's get into the products. Yay! So just looking at my products over here that I want to discuss, I'm trying to decide where I should start. Um, I must mention, I do use the NARS skincare line and I love it. It should be on this list of things, but I just felt that this video may get a little long if I include those things as well. But if you guys want to see a skincare video, always just say so in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys because I really do think that they have an amazing product um, as far as their skincare line goes so let me know if you're interested I will mention their serum though it is phenomenal you should pick it up but we'll talk about that later so anyway let's start with the face that's probably the best place to start for the base products I want to start with the primer this is the NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. It does have a SPF uh, 15. That should be picking up pretty good, I think. I don't even know if I need to put my hand there. But it has an SPF of 15, which is pretty awesome. You do want to take care of your skin. And, you know, on a daily basis, you should be wearing some S SPF on your skin. Even if you're women of color, everybody should do it. I want to just make that point. No, we should all be wearing it. But anyway, this primer is really nice. Um, it is a brightening sort of primer. Um, it does have some light reflective particles in it. So when you apply it to your skin, you do get a little bit of that sheen. Um, let's put a little bit here. And as you see, as I'm kind of rubbing it out, I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up, but it is kind of a shiny not shiny, light enhancing product. Can you see the kind of sheen that it gives there? So it's pretty nice. It's not over the top. It's not disco ball status, but it does kind of catch the light and reflect the light in a very pretty way. So it's a very nice primer and it does help extend the life of your makeup. So it has a double duty and it works pretty well. And you gotta love the SPF. Um, so that is the Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. The next product I want to talk about is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is definitely not a new product on the market. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. Um, <clears throat> it does have, excuse my coughiness here, <laughs> I have terrible allergies. Um, it does also have an SPF of 30, which is really nice, which makes this awesome for every day. Um, you can wear it and just know that your face is pretty protected as you go throughout your day. I am in the color Malaga Medium Dark 1. And so that is the shade that I'm using currently. Um, I actually mix a little bit of this with the next product that we'll talk about. But I do wear this alone and it's a lovely uh, tinted moisturizer that does give a fair amount of co coverage. I should mention I am not opposed to but my 
immediate go-to isn't a very full coverage face like that's just not something that I look forward to or look for when I'm purchasing my base products I'm more of a light to medium kind of coverage girl like that's my jam um, so this is perfect for me because it does give an almost medium coverage um, I honestly haven't tried to see if you can build it to anything past that because one layer for me is is plenty for my preference um, if you prefer something a little bit more you can certainly try to layer it um, I've layered NARS products in the past and they've worked out pretty well so I just haven't specifically tried it with this product but this is a winner it's a beautiful color um, range and it also just kind of settles into your skin really nicely and blends into your skin really nicely and gives a nice finish like it's not it's not matte but it's not dewy either but it's just a healthy glow finish is the best that I could describe it which probably isn't the greatest but that's okay you'll forgive me we're friends we'll be okay um so love this product I'm almost gone the only thing that I don't like about it is that you can't see through it to see how close I am to needing to repurchase this product because I will be repurchasing I love it now the next product I heart I mean if I could just give a big heart to the next product I totally would so the next product is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now I know you have heard everybody and they grandmama on YouTube talk about this product, but that's because it's an awesome product. But hey, who am I to judge? We are all here together. And if you like to use your foundation a certain way, boo boo, you go right ahead. But this is a serum foundation so you see me shaking it this needs to happen every day of your life when you open it up you have to shake it it will separate on you um the color i'm currently holding is cadiz which is a good shade um i'm think i'm in a process of transitioning to one shade deeper I was kind of on the fence about which shade to purchase and so I purchased Cadiz which is the color that I am um, in their previous powder product um, I use Cadiz in the sheer glow foundation so I'm accustomed to this color range but when I went to pick this up I wasn't sure if I was Cadiz or the next step up and so I bought Cadiz and I love it and it's great but as of late it's been appearing a little bit light for my preference towards the end of the day is when I notice it a little bit more like it just looks like it's not quite the right shade so actually today I have the foundation on but I actually have the step up which is Macau that's the color that I have on today um, which I think it's good for me now Macau not Cadiz but the step up I do mix with a pump not a pump but a little bitty dot of the tinted moisturizer I use these two in combination. Now I did this as well with the Cadiz shade. Um, I was at an event where it was suggested that maybe I might like the combination together. I do like it alone. Don't get me wrong. I love this foundation by itself. But for everyday wear, I've noticed that I have been enjoying it more with just the tiniest drop of the tinted moisturizer um, as well, which is what I've been doing. So although Macau straight from the bottle is still a little dark for me I think it's going to transition well into the perfect shade in the summer because I'm out and walking and in the sun and having lunch outside and riding my bike and things like that I think it's going to transition to the perfect shade but in the meantime I am using it with a pump a, a pump I keep saying a pump a dot of the tinted moisturizer to mix it in so that is what I have to say. I love this foundation. It is awesome. It does have a long wear. I don't wear it for the 16 hours that it's marketed to last for. It does get more luminous as the day goes on as you just kind of work with your own oils. Sorry, my dog has decided to join us. I guess he feels some kind of way about this foundation. Highly, highly recommend this foundation. I'm actually almost done with the sample that I got of the Macau, so I'll be purchasing this foundation and the Step Up, which is Macau, very, very shortly. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, because Cadiz is medium dark three and Macau is medium dark four, and that's what I'll be moving into. Love, you should buy it. I sing from time to time. Not well, but you know, we're friends. You'll, you'll forgive me, right? So moving on, 
to set that product um i have been using the what is this called the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder in the pressed version and this is the product here um it's a very stark white powder um but you don't need a lot of it you just need to swirl your brush in a little bit and i just dab the t-zone mostly is really kind of all i work with so i'll take my powder brush we'll even do a little bit for you here and just go there uh, i'm a little a little shiny i have to use a little bit and just dust my t-zone and when you swirl your brush into it you won't notice it a, a bunch on your brush like you won't notice that something's happening but it really is Sorry, you got me started. It's all your fault. So anyway, this is a good powder. It does set it very well. It does take down the shine or anything, but it doesn't, it doesn't leave you with that cakey matte look. It just looks very soft and like the light has been diffused across your face and gives you a nice candlelit veil finish, if that's such a description. Um, but I do enjoy it. I was very concerned about picking up that powder. I hemmed and hawed about it for quite some time because it is a white powder. And you all should know that the one thing that I abhor is the white flash bag in flash photography. I hate it. It's a bummer. Why does it have to happen? Like I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I mean, that's not cute. Like, you know, if I'm out taking pictures with my girls, I want to be cute. And that's is not a good look so i was very very concerned and very hesitant to purchase it but i spoke with an artist from nars who explained to me like i mentioned to you guys earlier in the video that francois is a photographer as well as a makeup artist and he does the photo shoots for all of the campaigns that they do he does the photo shoots for all the campaigns that you see published for nars and so all of his products he has kept in mind that photography end of it and make sure that all of his products photograph beautifully. I'm laughing as my dog comes in. But so far, we have had no issues. And to that end, the tinted moisturizer does have SPF of 30. But I've taken pictures in this and I haven't noticed it. Haven't noticed a flashback with this product. So maybe we own or something. I don't really know. So either way. That was the light reflecting powder. Moving on. Okay, so I am moving into a bit of love for contouring. I'm not awesome at it yet, but I work at it every now and then and it's become fun and I like to chisel out a little cheekbone situation, you know, make the forehead just a wee bit smaller. I like the, the idea of a contour. We're gonna have to put him out if he keep making noise. No, be quiet. So I love the contouring. So to that end, I purchased, I guess he decided he was over me too, he left. Um, to that end, I purchased the, what is this called? This is the contour blush kit. And this is in the shade, I was gonna say Ganea, but I think it's Gana. Um, G-I, I'll annotate it below, G-I-E-N-A-H. And this is the color here. So as you can see, you have your darker contour shade here and then your highlighting shade over here. So I had been, I've contoured with uh, bronzer. I've contoured with a cream product. Oh, how did I forget? You guys, I forgot to mention something else, but we'll come back to it. Um, with cream product I've contoured with and tried that. And I really wanted to try a prep powder contour and see if I would like that more. Um, I've tried with a darker, um, what's it called? Concealer. <laughs> I can't think. I've tried with a darker concealer as well. And this is Cafe, the NARS Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer, and the color Cafe, which is dark one. And so usually if I do a cream contour, I contour with this. And I like it. It's very pretty. It's very nice. But I'm not sure I was really 
uh, proficient enough in my contouring skills to go to cream and that's where I started so I want to kind of take it back a step if that's the order in which things go and do a powder um, contour and you know it's just been a long time coming I have heard the hype and the love and I finally fell into it and I really wanted a reason more than anything to buy the Eta brush she's lovely we love her and it it does work you guys like i know everybody talks about it and i know they make it seem like it's this holy grail product but really it kind of is really nice like i'm not gonna lie it's expensive as all get out listen i know the nars is a high-end line and it's a pretty penny for their products but this brush is my jam so I take this brush and I take my contour powder and I just go to work honey go to work I can't even open it up I'm talking about going to work um so take this and you just need the tiniest little bit because this powder is definitely um pigmented so you just need tiny 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 little bit and then you get right in that contour line and you just go to work honey now this, uh, this brush was clean, so there shouldn't be anything on my face, but we'll see how that turned out. Um, so anyway, contour powder blush kit, Eta brush, match made in heaven. Mm, love them. Mm. I do love the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So under my eyes, I tend to use, I actually don't have it on today, but when I do use it, I have medium dark caramel is the color that I'm in. Um, and it's not terribly... Like it's not super, super light. It's not so light that I have a really highlighted under eye. And you know, if I highlight my nose a little bit or at the center of my forehead, it's not extremely light. It's more of a natural looking highlight, if that's a word, um, as opposed to something that's really, really, really bright. Um, I don't like that huge contrast. I just want something a little bright under my eye and more importantly just covering the areas that as I get a bit older get a bit darker <laughs> such as life so this is lovely you only need the tiniest little bit I think for the longest time I was using so much under the eye which by all means boo boo if that's your jam you should do it but I <laughs> prefer just a little dot and then even sometimes I may mix it with my eye cream and just kind of do a little bit under there as you kind of tap it and blend it out. Um, a little bit goes a long way with this product, ladies. That's all I have to say. So, we're almost done. I do have a couple eyeshadows that I love from NARS, these little guys. I only have two, actually, and I love them both. Um, one is called Tropic which is this gorgeous blue color. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, it's, it's a lovely color, but it is very, very blue. I tend to, this has been more of coming in the spring. I've been using this color when I do use it. I wore it a couple of weeks ago and it was lovely. Um, this other color is called Galapagos and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful chocolate brown color that has kind of flecks of gold in it. Oh, every time I swatch this, you guys, I get so excited. It's so pretty. Do you see that? Maybe I should put it here instead of the few binder, huh? So I don't know if you can see those little gold specks kind of trans, but there they pick up. And a lot of times when you see um, shadows that have little uh, reflective glitters in it and such, it looks like that in the pan, but when you swatch it or when you put it in your eye, they don't, the reflectiveness doesn't really transfer. It does, and this shadow is really pretty. One of my faves. It, oh, it makes such a beautiful smoky eye. If you do lay down like a brown pencil, smudge it out just at the crease, and then pack this right on top of that, make it really vibrant. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't even talk about it. This video will go on for days. I love that shadow. All right, so moving on to the last couple products here um, are blushes. Yeah, blushes. This one, I, let me just start by saying I love NARS blushes. I have a few of them. I've collected them over the years. It did not happen overnight because they are pricey. But they last on me a really long time. Like I can put blush on in the morning and when I come home, the blush is still whew, going strong on my face. 
I love it. Um, this is Love Joy. Now, in the pan, it doesn't look like much. I know. You swatch it. I could swatch it for you. I won't even bother because it won't look like much. But on the cheeks, it's a very pretty mauve bronzy beautifulness so on days when maybe you have a really bold lip and a bold eye or smoke it you know you have a lot going on in other areas and you just need something to kind of pull it together love joy is my jam this puppy they just came out recently and my friends were lovely enough to give me a gift card that's a whole nother story but anyway I got a gift card to Sephora and I was so excited because it was right before these blushes launched and I knew what I was getting these are the new dual intensity blushes meaning dual intensity you can use them wet or dry and this is in the shade panic <gasps> can we have a moment seriously you guys this blush is about to be my whole life this summer I mean it's kind of my whole life right now but it's, it's, it's an intense situation. Now, they don't swatch really well. Let me see. Uh, well, no, actually, I'll take that back. They do. It's like a sheer watercolor effect. Do you see that? Okay, this was a terrible swatch on the wrong hand. Maybe if I do that. So that's the eyeshadow. You have this pink side and then this orangey side. And this summer, honey, it's going down. And these two and so they're they're when applied dry that's what I'll say when applied dry they give like that like that looks almost like a sheery kind of color and I think when they're wet because I haven't really mastered the wet application but dry it's almost like a watercolory just stepped out of like some sunny goodness and I'm flushy and the best pinky orange sort of way <laughs> is that an explanation but anyway it's not I don't know I don't know how to explain them so you have the pink one on that side and you have the orange on that side I just love them I love these bright blushes for spring and summer I think they're so beautiful um yeah I'm just so excited about these like I told somebody I'd like cry glitter tears when I saw them because I was just like dying when I saw the swatches online. I was like, oh God, panic is my whole life. I'm so excited for it to come out. As you see, I continue to play with the swatch because I'm just loving this color. So that one I haven't played with as much because it's just starting to really feel warmer here. And despite the fact that I wear orange lipstick almost every day in hopes that it will bring spring to come, I haven't really went all in on these blushes yet, but I do love them. I'm so excited to really kind of play with them a little bit more. They did launch a brush along with that, those blushes. I'm debating. It, it may happen. We'll see. <laughs> but either way, a final product. I'm obsessed. Now I know everyone says obsessed on YouTube, but I truly am obsessed with this color, with this product. And this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. Seriously. How many times can I say seriously? But I mean it so much. I am holding the shade Vanessa. Vanessa, meet my friends. Friends, meet Vanessa. Vanessa is so pretty. Vanessa, I probably should have looked up exactly what it's described as. Uh, I'm going to call it a tanny rose, perhaps a pinky brown, some would say, probably more, yeah, probably more a pinky brown than a brownie pink, but it does have a bit of brown in there. I, this is good for every day. I actually have it on today and I line my lips with, um, chestnut from mac which is one of my favorite lip pencils um just to give it a little bit more brown because i wanted my lips are better and i love the formula of this this much of this lipstick so much that i was really trying to find a shade that i could be my lips are better I, I knew it had to exist turns out it does her name is vanessa 
and she lives at Barney's. It is part of the line of lipstick, lipsticks, excuse me, that was, um, that is sold exclusively at Barney's or on the NARS website. So you have to either go to one of those two places to find it. Um, the other, there was 10 shades that was released in that particular collection. The other 30 shades you can find other places, but, um, this one is part of collection that's just at Barney's or at NARS.com or Nards Boutiques, I'm sure as well. Um, either way, I love it. It's long wearing, it goes on creamy, it doesn't dry down to a matte. It's almost a satin finish. And it just, it's so long wearing, like it lasts on your lips all day. It is almost 5.30 in the afternoon. I've applied this when I left, before I left my house today when I did my makeup, and one more time this afternoon. That was probably at about three. I mean, it's so long wearing and it's creamy. It feels good on the lips. Um, when it does fade, it fades to a very uniform, beautiful stain on your lips. I mean, how much better can it get? Like, even if you don't reapply, you just, you know, looked a little bitten in the lip. Mm, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I love it. Big fan. I have a few other colors. If you guys are interested in what other shades I have and you want to do some sort of swatching of the shades that I own, I would love to do that for you. Just let me know in the comment section below. But I mean, if you want to splurge, you've had a terrible day, week, month, whatever, and you need a nice lipstick in your life to just kind of pick you up a little bit, let me introduce you to the Nars Audacious Lipstick, my friend. You will be forever grateful. You are very welcome. How about that? So, without further ado, we have come to the end of this very long video that I'm hoping to edit down to somewhere around 20 minutes. Anywho, thank you guys so much for sharing your time with me. This channel is definitely new for me and for us, but I want us to continue to get to know each other and, and just work together to grow our channel because I really want this to be our channel and to kind of find a way to kind of you guys expose me to new things. I maybe expose you to new things and we just kind of do it together like a team. <laughs> so if you are really happy with what you've seen so far, would like to see more, please definitely thumbs up this video. By all means, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. You know you're looking forward to doing it. So go ahead and do it right now. I'll wait. <laughs> just kidding but definitely definitely subscribe definitely thumbs up this video if there's videos that you guys would like to see from me by all means leave those in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you thank you so much I'll see you guys soon